Well, basically, risk management is about making appropriate decisions in the face of uncertainty. Sure. And we make decisions in every area of life. Sure. Um, and it's interesting if you think about the future of risk management. Some people right. say that risk management might disappear as a discipline altogether uh -huh. because it's just about making good decisions when uh -huh. we don't have all of the information. And others say that risk management will never disappear because we'll always have uncertainty, uh -huh. you know, poor and taxes and uncertainty <laughs> and death. Um, so we always will have to have some way of dealing with sure. it. And, and I'm not sure. Sometimes I think it will become so natural to do risk management that we don't need a separate discipline. Other times I think, well, maybe we should just have that kind of um, reminder that it's important sure. with a separate, uh, a separate discipline that exists on its own. Well, well that's great. And if you would uh, take us a bit further into your view of the future mm. of risk management as well as the... Uh, at large, the future of project, program, and portfolio management, if you would. <laughs> well, that's a very big subject. Um, and <laughs> sure. who knows? You know, the whole point is that everything about the future is uncertain. That's so, right. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to make cast iron <laughs> predictions and we come back in a year and you say, ah, ha, ha, you were, you right. you were wrong. <laughs> um, but I do have a view. Mm -hmm. um, I think, let me say three things about risk management okay. that I think should develop and I really hope will develop and certainly in, in our business in the Risk Doctor Partnership we're working towards making these things applicable and, and usable. The first is integration. Sure. The main problem with risk management has been that it's standalone, it's seen as a separate thing we do on the side, we're running the project here, we're running the business here and we're doing risk management over in the silo here and occasionally we throw a, a risk report or a risk register over the fence, here look at this and they say okay we'll look at that but it's not integrated. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to see integration of risk management into the project, mm -hmm. integration into the program and portfolio, integration into the business and strategic thinking, okay. so that we have um, a much a, a closer interface between the risk, risk information that comes out of the risk process and the other project processes. So when we're planning, when we're estimating, when we're doing resource management, when we're doing change control, when we're doing stakeholder engagement, all of those things need to take account of uncertainties that matter, risks mm -hmm. that could affect them. Mm -hmm. So risk management needs to be fully integrated. Mm -hmm. And when we're making strategic decisions about our positioning as an organization, about our product mix, about our market level, mm -hmm. about our financial um, decision making, mm -hmm. all of those things need to take account of strategic risks. So it needs to be integrated. The second thing which is very closely linked to that is risk and decision making. Mm -hmm. The point of understanding the risks is to help you do things differently. And I always say that, that risk management, the output of risk management has two purposes, attention and action. The idea of the risk process is to draw your attention to things that you didn't currently know. You should know this, you don't know it, the risk process will reveal it to you. So it's attention. This is something you need to know that you don't know. And action, when you know that, you should be doing something that you're not currently doing. So now I know what the risks are. Oh, I'm so glad I know that, now I shall do this. So if it doesn't draw attention and it doesn't result in action, it's a waste of time. So where do we pay attention and take action? Most of the time it's in the way we make decisions. So I would like to see project decisions, portfolio decisions, strategic decisions, all made in the light of risk. And that needs that integration to support decision making at different levels. So my first change would be better integration of risk management with the rest. Second is the active use of risk information to make decisions through the attention and action uh, sort of channel. And the third thing is a much better attention to the people aspects, the soft aspects of risk mm -hmm. management. Mm -hmm. um, to think about biases, to think about culture as we've been talking, to think about um, personal preferences, you know, personal um, uh, um, risk appetites and for those things to be played into the process. Mm -hmm. At the moment, we're very process-based in risk management and sure. in projects, sure. and we need to think much more about the influence of individuals and groups on the way that risk is perceived and understood and responded to. And again, you know, some of us in that kind of thought leadership position are thinking about this and putting it into practice, but it needs to become mainstream. Mm -hmm. Risk is managed by people, mm -hmm. not by processes and not by machines or computers. Mm -hmm. And so we have to take account of the people aspects. I'd like to see all of those three things in the next five, five years. Oh. You know, integration, decision making, and people, the, the really important things. Well, those are all very, very valuable things. And thank you for 
helping us look into the future. Of course, we'll attempt to paraphrase uh, Danish Nobel Prize uh, laureate um, Niels Bohr that um, forecasting is difficult, especially in the about future. the future. Exactly. And yes. it was a tribute to him and others, but. Yes. Uh, um, we, thank you for taking us there, because that really is a, is a very important thing to keep our sights on the picture down the road. Well, I see risk management as a forward-looking radar. Yes. And it scans the future. Yes. And it says, these are bad things in my project. I must steer away. These are good things I must steer towards. And we can do that scanning for risk management itself and say, let's look out into the future and see what's coming towards risk management and okay. how can we embrace those things and build them in to the way that we practice. Well, that's great. And thank you very much, Dr. Hilson, for giving us your insights uh, into uh, current and future uh, uh, status of uh, risk management, its progress. It's been a great pleasure to have you at Drexel. Oh, I've enjoyed it very much, Frank. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much.